Got a little pork and carne asada going. Make some tacos tonight. Hopefully they're good. Well, not looking too shabby. A little carne asada, pork. Okay, so we got back over here this morning and I'm pretty happy. This is all dry. So overnight it stayed dry. You can actually see just what we thought. <clears throat> A little bit wet here, but that's fine. The water is finding its way out the bottom just like it should. So that's great. <clears throat> so we are gonna bring some more material in. We're gonna raise this all up to where we can get the excavator out onto it. And then we're gonna start the same process over here. You can see the water standing here, so we've got to do the same exact thing here. I've got to take out this whole section, and I'm going to muck it all out, throw the rock down, connect into, in with this rock here, and basically build the same thing here that I did right here. This is nice and firm. You can drive out on here with the excavator. And now I can reach this. So you can see it's pretty mucky. I'm going to uh, I think I'm gonna throw it all. I don't know exactly. Maybe maybe right here, but I like this access, so I don't know. It's gonna to be tough figuring this one out. Mike just showed up. He's got my base. It's a super tight corner. He's got a cut through right here. Get in the mirror so he can see me. Let him know everything's good. All right, I'm gonna guide him in real quick. Come on, guys. Bud, Sadie. Come on.
Lady. Come here. Stay right here. Stay right by me.
that water. Okay, so I've got the rock building out and I'm just, I'm pushing this out all the way. It's gonna go all the way out. That's my plan. And then uh, once I do that, I'll just keep adding the rock and I should end up with a nice little underground river like what we have right over here. <clears throat> And as you can see, the water's just flowing right on out of there. So that's the plan. Hey, whose collar is that, bud? Let me see. You lost your collar. Here, let's get it back on. Here. Sadie took it off, huh? Sadie's been back in the mud over there. Okay, let's... We're gonna push our way a little further back and uh, see what we can do. Things are looking not too bad. So that bucket pretty much represents the uh, three foot past on this end here. So we're kind of lined up with that. And I'm just pushing it back, throwing in rock, pushing it back, throwing in rock. I've got the water, it's diverting down through here pretty nicely, you can see it. So this was all, this, the water's just shooting up underneath here, but the rock's keeping it dry. So we're just gonna keep working out. Maybe you could come out, I don't know, tomorrow morning, we'll be pretty close to, uh, about two or three more loads of rock and we'll, we'll have the footprint of the house, I think. This is the first day on this job site we made it through one entire day at least to the afternoon without an issue and we were able to get a lot done today as you can see this is about half of the house right here now it's like an L shape so we're gonna take a little bit more of this slop out and just push it Everything's getting pushed out that way. I'm just pushing everything out that way and building this pad and allowing the the water is finding its way underneath. You can see it's still just coming right out of the side of the mountain here. Right here is starting to come out. So it's just gonna run right out of the hill. So we're gonna get the rock up to that level to where it's dry and then that water is going to find its way down to here. Let's see if it's still flowing. Oh yeah, it's flowing good. See that? That water's just running. So here it's starting to fill up a little bit here. I'm going to add more rock. Probably about 
18 inches more rock higher all through right here and it'll keep allowing that water to come down through the bottom here and it's running really good so that's exactly what we wanted everybody's happy Or Satan. So this is the front half. Tomorrow I gotta move this whole pile here. And there's the other corner right there. So it's 10 foot over. So from here I gotta go seven feet. Right in here somewhere is where my rock, that rock has to come all the way to here. And then I put a bucket over there on top of that log for reference. So all of this has to go. I need rock basically all the way to right here where this piece of wood's at. So and that's where the house goes. Making progress. We are heading out to June Lake. We got the uh, allied team in here. We got the Mammoth Mountain on the TV. And we got our little helper in the office today, huh? What are you up to? Just hanging out with mom? So yeah, we are uh, busy, busy. Scott's got these plans all color coded. They look great. He's keeping us organized. Look at all this stuff. This is all we got going on besides that getting that excavator stuck out in June. Oh, and that too. <laughs> yeah, that over there, right there. Yeah. All right, guys, you guys have a good day. We're gonna be out in June Lake. This site here, we left overnight. Kind of wanted to see what it would do with the rock. The rock's doing its job. Everything's starting out here. You can see the water flow, but it's finding its way under, down under the rock. It's flowing out here too, and over there. So we're gonna add probably another six to eight inches here and continue to get this up a little bit higher. You can see the water standing here. I'm gonna daylight a trench to the downhill side once we get further back. And uh, so all this water will escape that way. And this water here is doing great. It's, it's just flowing just like we wanted it to. 
it's finding its way out. So that's, that's all fine and dandy there. I'm going to uh, fill this whole trench all the way down and around the corner with, uh, with this big rock. And then we'll do the same thing we did over here. We'll put the fabric over the top and that will allow us to put this dirt and this will go back to natural, you know? So that's the idea here. Gonna work on that probably here in just a few minutes. Oh, looky here, we got a little spike. He's come over to say hi. You guys are out, the weather's good. He's not too concerned. Eh, a little bit. So today I'm gonna give Mike a little seat time in the 259. So I gotta have, I'm gonna have him back drag this. <clears throat> gonna back drag it all back away from the trench here and then he's gonna start grabbing that rock and we're gonna line this whole trench all the way out to this corner for now it's pretty much all I'm concerned about get all the way to this corner I'm gonna cover this all up and uh, it's gonna be cool You can you can come around this way and and I'll take this the excavator and kind of spread it a little. Stay here. That'll work for now. Well, uh, I got those scissors too. Now we're making our way back. We're all the way back where the first excavator was stuck was way back there. So we're just working our way back. Sadie and Buddy or <laughs> Sadie and Buddy, Sadie and Bud, they're supervising, huh? Yeah. We're gonna stop for lunch. Soil's guy's supposed to be here after lunch, so we'll see uh, what he has to say. Hopefully, all is well. You got an itch, Sado? Go, bud, go over there. Okay, so uh, Soil's guy just came. He's uh, pretty happy with everything. Pretty much got the whole thing hogged out, so now I'm, I'm quite a bit lower than what we're required to be, so I'm just gonna put extra rock in there. So it's gonna have pretty much a lot more rock than what's, what's really even necessary, but uh, so I got Mike doing right now. He's working on the rock. We don't have a whole lot of room on this site. You can see this is where the trench was originally and we're just now we got dirt piled on top. Everything is getting filled in. So like I said, this whole base is gonna be all rock. And then you can see our water right here. Basically we just re-diverted a natural underground stream and now that it's forced to go this way, the envelope of the water is gonna shrink way down and it's just gonna come right down through here. And all the stuff that was real soggy because of the elevation is gonna dry out. This will all dry out because everything's being funneled right down to here.